Hello, welcome back to Crypto Mischief. Richie here. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you appreciate this kind of content. I have spent the day going through scouring YouTube and scouring Google and all these other places, trying to find the next big thing in this NFT gaming craze, which had just taken off in the past week. If you haven't noticed it, where have you been? Basically, the, the way I see it is, actually, if I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I'm not much of a gamer. I have a bar and I own a restaurant in China and I don't really have time to play computer games. But I do like money and I, I like crypto. So my kind of my idea for like why I'm interested in NFT gaming is not really to spend too much time playing the game unless it's amazing, you know, if it's like Final Fantasy 7 or something then sure I'm in. But it is to try and catch these tokens early and make some profit on them you know because that's what we do here isn't it we get in early we grab the profit and you know we build our bags so it is kind of i'm seeing it in the same sense as i would see yield farming and it is in my eyes basically yield farming you're risking everything on a reward token but this time the reward token could be a dragon <laughs> you know or a axolotl or something the value of that reward token depends on the success of the platform. If people move out of the, the game, just like people move out of the farm, and they just start selling all their NFTs, then the value of whatever you're holding, no matter how amazing it is or how much of, you, of it you have, is gonna be worth nothing. So this is the risk, inherent risk in crypto. And things like this can be exploited. What's saying nobody can hack these sites and print as many NFTs as they want? just destroying the value of your ones. You know, this This is all here. All the risk is here. It's, it's For me, I'm, so I'm approaching it in the same way I would approach yield farming. Anyway, back to my point. <laughs> I was, I've been searching for how to find these places and I found it, okay? So today I'm gonna to look you, I'm gonna guide you through two sites in which you can use them to find the latest NFT blockchain games. You can find them before they're released. You can find out how far they are released within all of within this website. And I'm just gonna guide you through it. If you don't want a guide on this website and you just want to know what it's called, it's called Play to Earn. <laughs> so type in Play to Earn, yeah, Play to Earn dot net, and you will get to the website. So there you go. See you later. But if you are interested in learning about my thought process on what I see as a potential buy and potential not buy, then sure, come along with me because we're going to go straight into it. Okay, first things first, of course, the, the natural thing that we all want to do was would be we would pop into CoinGecko. They have an NFT tab here. You go into NFT and coins and then you start to think, okay, I'm just going to look down these. Um, you're going to get lost and you're going to probably get FOMO and buy the top of something because that's what we do, hey? We look through these. What we're going to find, we're going to see... Uh, very top, you know, Axie Infinity. You, do you want to buy the excess token? It is $43. It's pumped 97% in a week. <laughs> no, you don't want to buy it. You're going to get wrecked, okay? I'm going all the way down, you know? Things like Engine might be a good buy because games are coming up on Engine. Uh, Decentraland is quite cheap. It hasn't pumped that much this week. So basically, if you are going to go this way, try and look for tokens that have NFT capability that have not pumped that much or have even dumped. Smooth Love Potion has dumped 25% this week. Is that an interesting buy now? Is 25 cents too much? Possibly. Uh, Illuvium, up 98% on the week. It hasn't launched yet. Is it gonna go down again before it launches? Probably, because it doesn't launch for ages. <laughs> so don't get FOMO on these projects just because you see that they're pumping today or this week. Wait and see what I'm trying to do is find what I can see is not yet released and hasn't pumped yet. Earliest the better, or already released and dumped. Uh, I'm saying that because I kind of did the same thing. I bought the top here on Crypto Blades. I bought it at over $100 and it's, it dumped all the way back down to $80 today. I bought some more $80, it's gone a little bit back up. So I wouldn't advise you going through the NFT section in CoinGecko or CoinMarketCap to try and find these things because it is going to get a little bit hairy. You could try volume, which one has got the highest volume uh, today. So of course Axie, My Neighbor Alice, Theta, Engine, Alien World, Super Farm. Super Farm, uh, yeah, it pumped 89%. So <laughs> yeah, so this is not how I am doing it. You could also try and see what are the biggest losers on the day. Might be something to pick up there. See, like I said, Crypto Blade's one of the biggest losers on the deck. Goodbye.
Right, so that that is uh, the the pitfalls of using CoinGecko to try and search out these. We just don't know from CoinGecko how far along they are. We only can see the chart of the, the financial value of them, but also we need to think about the project and kind of, is it fully developed? Are people playing it? Or are people speculating on the actual price of, or the, the actual price is gonna be what's up and running? And if they are just speculating, then probably after speculation without a product launch, there's gonna be a dump, a better opportunity for you to buy in cheaper. So that's what we wait for, yeah? So here we are, play to earn. This is the site, uh, the purpose of this short video. So here we have the how we can find out without any stress or bother or anything like this. Okay, we have take here the genre we want. We choose our blockchain. We choose our device. Is it computer or phone? We choose how we want to earn. Do we want to earn all? Do we want to just to earn crypto? Let's just go crypto. I want to earn crypto. Okay, and from that you can then click down all of these and. In this, these parts here, we have status. Is it live? Has it been released yet? So I would prefer a live game just to show you something. So we have live coming all the way down here, pre-sales and live. You can choose if you want just pre-sales, you can say you want just pre-sales. Status, yeah, pre-sales. And how do we get paid? Crypto, crypto, crypto. They all pay in crypto. That's how I like it. <laughs> so that's actually how I found Dungeon Swap, this one here. You can see then how many users, 4,000. This is a little bit out of date, I think, because there's a lot more users of Dungeon Swap than 4,000. Um, then it will hold some, inf sometimes it has some information down here, some videos and stuff. If not, then you can just pop to all their socials. The house will bring you straight to the, bring you straight to the site, where actually they said they are launching the dungeon here in three days. The dungeon. So I guess it could be the training or maybe one of the, um, Actual the campaigns, so they're really getting getting on with this. Uh, the price has gone up since yesterday, which is nice to see because it did dump terribly. And yeah, so that's the video. Shorter than my usual videos, but that's it. Yeah, playtoearn.com. Check it out. If you appreciate this, if you were looking for something like this to find out, like find exactly what you were looking for, then hey, subscribe. More content like this coming soon. See you later. Don't get wrecked.